What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 and the weekly newswire was just released a little over an hour ago and a lot of the fans out there are disappointed because there's no summer update once again. And I've kind of been reading over some forums and things online and I knew people would be upset but it really is getting to the point where a lot of people have just quit playing. I know some people have quit playing months ago because that's kind of when the hype died around Red Dead Online. A lot of people were expecting things to come out kind of towards the middle of summer, not really towards the end of summer. So the hype has kind of died off around Red Dead Online. Now, while I still think it's one of the best games made in a long time, single player wise, I think the single player story is phenomenal. You can put tons and tons of hours into it. But once you have played it through several times and beaten it, you want something else from the game. And them having an option to play online. Now, if there was no option to play online, you know, we, would have, we wouldn't be having this discussion right now. But with the option to play online, and the kind of delays in what's coming out and no information on what's coming out DLC wise for the story or just kind of updates for the online mode. People are really getting disgusted and kind of leaving a bad taste in the community's mouth because Rockstar is really not giving us much information. They still have not given us a set date for the summer updates yet. So will it be next week? Who knows? Will it be into September? Probably so. Uh, it just, there's no information out there. And I think a lot of people are really getting tired of it. And I think after this week of really wanting the summer update a lot of people in the community they really just said screw it you know we're going to play something else now there's not a lot of games coming out this year that are big name titles like there there has been in some years past now some years it seems like blockbuster titles all just come out at one time this year there's still a good bit of games though i'm going to list for you guys in case you do not know what else is coming out this year if you're looking to play something else i can understand that i know a lot of people are talking in comments even in my videos about playing other games if you guys are just wondering what else is coming out, I'm going to list it down in the description below if you'd like to check over the rest of the game or rest of the game titles that are being released through December. So you can kind of see it for yourself. But at the same time, I got to thinking, yeah, it may not be a, a blockbuster year, but there's still a lot of really good games coming out that Rockstar is really not doing anything. I'm afraid they're going to lose what players they have left. Of course, this month, you know, Madden was released if you're a sports fan or sports kind of gaming fan. Of course, next month you're going to have NBA 2K20, you're going to have NHL 20, you're going to have Gears of War uh, 5 and Borderlands 3. Next month's a pretty big month for games. So, And of course, FIFA comes out at the end of September. So I think those titles right there are going to take a lot of people's attention away from anything they've been playing, no matter what it is, whether it be Red Dead Redemption Online or something else. And then, of course, in the month of October, you're going to have Destiny's DLC. The new Ghost Recon Breakpoint will be coming out. Of course, uh, WWE 2K20, a lot of people play those kind of games. Um, and then in the month of October as well, you will have the new Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which of course is something I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to playing the 2v2 Alpha this weekend. And you guys know I put a lot of different games on the channel. I don't really try to make my channel about just one game. I play kind of whatever I'm playing and what I'm enjoying is what I do YouTube about. I've always played Call of Duty. I've always played Battlefield. I've always liked Red Dead. But some other games, you know, I might, you know, do some things with on the channel as well. So... I'm not always going to be covering Red Dead, you know, I'm going to continue to cover Red Dead, but really the lack of interest that it's kind of gaining right now and the lack of content kind of has, kind of hurts the community and kind of hurts YouTube channels as well, in my opinion, because you have to go on to something else. And while I'm looking forward to some of these other games, I'm really kind of disappointed still there's nothing really solid coming out for Red Dead that we know about yet besides this summer update. And kind of at the rate Rockstar is going right now, who knows when the next update after the summer update will be. We had an update back in the spring, and that's when all of the new roles and things were mentioned. And it's been months and months since that point. And really, we have not got a lot of information about them still. But at the same time, this is probably going to be the last update they have. They may have a fall or winter update, but if, let's just go for an example. Let's say this thing comes out in early September. They're going to have October, November, December. And then it's going to be January of 2020. So you're going to have three months for another update. I just don't see them doing another update that quickly. I kind of hope they do and they prove my theory wrong. But at the same time, if they keep up with this, this kind of two update cycle a year, I don't think players are going to continue to play. It does not have the player base or the community that GTA does. There's not that many people playing. Hopefully they will turn it around uh, for Red Dead Online because... I just have a feeling a lot of people have, like I said, have kind of gotten over the hype of Red Dead Online a few months back, and whoever is left now is really looking to play something else. And like I said, I can completely understand that. And that really, like I said, kind of makes me sad because it's a really great game. Story-wise, the online really doesn't have, this has not lived up to what it can be yet, in my opinion. 
Leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are about Red Dead Online and what are you looking forward to playing the rest of the year. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.